ask me again why I love the low carb diet. I can't give up whipped cream, mayonnaise, sour cream, cream cheese. It's like the perfect diet for me. Hey everybody, Kathleen Hart here from the Little Piece of Heart blog, and I'm so glad you guys are joining me today because we are going to be making a low carb pumpkin spice coffee. It's that time of the year. I'm in plaid. It's fall. Fall is here. It's finally getting cold in Pennsylvania. I am so excited, and I just perfected the pumpkin spice coffee, and I've been drinking it like every day. It's a little bit of an indulgence because of the whipped cream, but hey, whipped cream is low carb. I'm going with it. I'm still losing weight. So if you guys are new to my channel, I am on low carb journey number two. I am losing weight. I just had a baby in March, so I restarted the low carb diet a few weeks ago. So definitely hit that red subscribe button if you wanna follow me on my journey and follow me on anything low carb related. So this recipe does include stuff from the grocery store. So I know a lot of people don't agree with using things like that. If you don't, then maybe this recipe is not for you, but for me, it fits into my low carb lifestyle and I'm still losing weight, maintaining weight, it still works for me. So maybe it will work for you guys if you are craving a pumpkin spice coffee. Because I don't know if you guys have looked online at the nutritional facts for the Dunkin' Donuts version or the Starbucks version. It's cray. Make it at home, save yourself some calories, some carbs, and actually be able to enjoy it. I think everything's better homemade anyway. So let's get on into it and start making this coffee. International Delight Sugar-Free Pumpkin Pie Spice Creamer. This is the key to this whole recipe, and this is the reason why you're able to make it low carb. There's only one gram of carbs per tablespoon. You're gonna need a mug of your choice. I am using a little Boo mug today. I got this from Pottery Barn. I will link them down below. They're on sale right now. If there's any left, pick them up. I'm obsessed. You're also gonna need half and half pumpkin pie spice, I'm gonna be using one packet of Truvia because the coffee creamer is kind of sweet, so I'm just gonna be using one packet instead of my normal two. You're also going to need some prepared hot coffee. All right, let's assemble this coffee. It's literally two seconds long, and that's why I have it so often, because it's so easy. So what I wanna do, get my coffee ready, put my one packet of Truvia right into the mug, and then I'm actually gonna add in my half and half, two tablespoons of half and half, one packet of Truvia, two tablespoons of the pumpkin spice coffee creamer, and then, let's move it to the side, I'm gonna fill in my coffee. Totally forgot to mention the star of the show, whipped cream. I like to use the Ready Whip, extra creamy. One gram of carbs for two tablespoons. Now that we have everything in our mug, I'm gonna give this a mix. Perfect. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with two thin layers of whipped cream. And I'll tell you guys why. One thin layer, and then what I like to do is take my pumpkin pie spice. I like to just tap it, do a little thin layer of pumpkin pie spice. And then I go right on top with another thin layer of whipped cream. And then we're just gonna do, make it pretty on top. There you go. And then, when you sip it, you get the two layers of whipped cream and the spice kind of mixes in with both of the layers and you get the spice of the pumpkin pie spice mixed with the flavor of the coffee creamer all in one bite and it's magical. Try it this way because I guarantee you guys are gonna see a difference. I love making my coffee this way. And if I don't do it pumpkin spice style, I do this with cinnamon in the morning in my coffee. So then we're gonna make it even cuter with a little cinnamon stick and put it right in there. How adorable is that? Especially the cute little boo mug. I love it. How cute. I'm gonna do a little dip of whipped cream. Mmm. I love using a cinnamon stick as my stirrer. It's not just for show. This is what I do with my coffee. <laughs> Let's take a sip. Mm. 
You know what, it's so creamy. The half and half and the creamer make it super creamy, but not super rich. It's not super sweet. Mmm, I love it. The combination of the pumpkin pie spice and then the coffee creamer pumpkin spice flavor really just elevates this to the next level. Don't fight it anymore. Jump on to the PSL bandwagon. Hashtag pumpkin spice latte. PSL pumpkin spice coffee. Just give it a try. I'm sure you guys will like this version. It's not overly sweet. It's got the right amount of spice. And if you like them from your favorite coffee shop but want to have them a little lighter, this is the recipe for you. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. I will put down in the description box some of my other coffee recipes if you guys want to try them, all low carb. But until next time, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.